Okay, James. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, quite a second half, quite an atmosphere there. Um, Dave Brailsford was watching in the director's seats. What do you think he and Jim Ratcliffe would have thought of that performance? I don't know. You have to ask uh, them the questions. Fair to say it was the, the best and worst of, of your team, though? No, it wasn't the worst. It's, uh, I think, already first half. And we we played solid. Only it was a little bit sloppy to give two goals away from set plays. And I think only half time we slightly changed a little the pressing, but there was a really s slight change. Uh, but uh, we said kept going. Already first half we created chances twice. Rasmus Hoyland, uh, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Diogo Dalo, and were all very good. Created chances from open play. So we said kept keep going and believe in in ourselves and I said that, that is what I demand from a team and I said it before the game I said during half time keep believing and we will win this game You switched Carl Macho to the right tonight and he was he was terrific I mean he can play very well on the left he played well on the right it, does, it, is it getting to the point now where it doesn't necessarily matter where he plays he's that influential um, I, I think we, we did it previously as well um, and then he was almost more comfortable on the left but uh, I think he can play on the right as well and today I think he was on that right side over 90 minutes absolutely a threat and scored now twice uh, but I think the whole front line played very good and they invested so lot in runs behind and uh, the timings uh, were so good and yeah, I think it was continually a threat for the opponent. Eric, um, I know Rasmus has scored in the Champions League, but how important is it for him to get that goal in that atmosphere? And also, have you had to keep him confident, keep him upbeat during this period? Yes, of course. I have had uh, several talks with him, and every time I pointed out, hey, you scored for Denmark a lot. You scored in the Champions League, so that's de demonstrated ability. So you can do it. So believe in it, and it will come. And I'm sure now the first goal is in, uh, he will net more. Uh, sorry, how, how was he in the dressing room? Yeah, of course. When strikers don't score, that's always. Uh, uh, it's a problem, but he has a strong character. He's so resilient, he's so determined, and uh, so he has a big personality. And I think that is what a striker needs. And, and when you keep investing, the, the goals will come. Hey, Eric Gilbert, since the first game since the Ineos deal was announced, was there any frustration about how long it was taken to be confirmed? And now that it has been confirmed, has there been any sort of pressure taken off the players, or has there any been any kind of impacts we can feel? No, I don't think it has an uh, it has had an impact on the players. And. So for me, I kept informed uh, during the whole process, first from Richard Arnold, later on from Patrick Stewart. So I, I knew what was going on. Um, yeah, we're looking forward. I think it's positive for the club um, that they are in, they're stepping in. They have a lot of experience in, in sport on the highest level, uh, uh, F1, uh, cycling team, other football clubs. So it can only help and support us to get our targets. So yeah, we are looking forward. They want to work with us and we want to work with them. You, you need to follow this result up with some consistent form now. Too often this season, you've had a, a good result followed by a poor one. How, how do you change that? <laughs> but you also have to analyze why. And so we have to, uh, so often we have to change the team and you don't get the, uh, the routines in. And yeah, we know football is about um, solid performance and consistency in top football. Uh, but uh, we know we have to, to make a step there. But I'm sure uh, when we have more players often available, uh, and especially in the key positions, then uh, we will get a consistent role. Uh, last question, Ian. Um, Eric, Mark Strashford hasn't started for, for three weeks. He's coming tonight. He's had a few shots set to the goal. How did you think he did? I'm really happy to see him back. Uh, I, I think he played very good, but he, uh, he was ill huh, uh, during a period, but also uh, he had uh, one or two games that we preferred to play Garnaccio over the left side. And, 
uh, because he deserved it. He showed uh, he was uh, not only a threat, but he had key actions, uh, assist, um, had uh, shot on targets and, and scored goals. So, yeah, that is also internal competition, but we have to see how we fit them in and togetherness. And today we played Alejandro over the right side. Uh, that can be a solution, but uh, it can be also be fluid. But also I know Resford will also score from the right side. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.